Hey Siri, what should everyone do while watching my video? Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to AJ170's name so you never miss a video. Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170 and today guys, I'm going to be showing you six, six of the best ways you can screen record your iOS device guys. Now, two of these are paid screen recorders. I believe they have like a little free thing where you can record like one or two minutes but they are good solid screen recorders that's why i wanted to include them into this video and i mean if you guys are really serious about recording and all that other stuff it is always best to use a paid screen recorder i'm using a paid screen recorder whenever i screen record that's what i'd recommend anyone who wants to do like professional screen recording rather if it's on youtube gameplay all of that because when you're a developer if you're getting paid for what you do most of the time you're gonna try a lot a lot harder if you're doing it for free you're just gonna be like meh because, I mean, a lot of the things I've actually coded, I've stopped coding them because I wasn't really getting paid and it, it just felt useless to me. And uh, one of the things I actually had, it was a um, mod menu for Minecraft and it had over 100,000 users and I stopped making it because I got banned from Adfly. I wasn't making money anymore. So, anyways, guys, two of these are paid ones. I would recommend, I'm going to tell you which ones are the best ones in my opinion. And one of these actually isn't working at the moment because it is not signed. I have no idea when it will be signed. But, yeah, hopefully it does get signed sometime soon. So, anyways, guys, before I jump right into this video, can I get 170 likes? Also, if you are new, support the 170 and subscribe. So, I hope this helps out a lot of you guys. I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys over on my iPhone now. Alright guys, so as you see, I'm on my iPhone right now. So these are the five out of six apps. Like I said, the sixth one I couldn't download because it wasn't working. It's actually Vizzle Rec right there. So first thing is first, you guys are going to go to the link inside the description called Tutu. This is how you're going to get, I think, three of these apps. And then the other two you're going to have to either pay for. And the other one, like I said, isn't working. So once you guys in, uh, go to the Tutu, go ahead, go to regular free, click that download now button, click install. I already have it installed, so there's no reason for me to redo it. Once you guys do that, once this app right here is downloaded, you guys are going to go ahead, open up the settings app. Once you guys open up the settings app, you want to go ahead and find general. Once you guys find general, what you're going to want to do is, let me click this real quick, hold on, there it is. Once you guys click general, scroll down to the bottom so you see profiles device management, and then find the enterprise app to go ahead and hit trust on the app. Then you can open it up on your device, and it will work perfectly fine. So if I go ahead and open up Tutu now, guys, I'm going to show you what you're going to want to look up. So from right here, the first thing we're going to type in is EveryCord, which is iRec, but it's the, basically it's the newer version. So here it is right here. So if I go ahead and click on it, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on the download now button. So if I go ahead and, well, I can't really click the download now button because I have it installed. So once you guys click the download now, go ahead, wait a couple of seconds and wait for the install prompt. Click install, then go to the settings, hit trust and all that other good stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what you'd want to do. I'm only going to show you trust in it once because the rest of them are in the same process. You'd want to find the enterprise app wherever it is. Here it is. You'd hit trust. Trust again, wait for it to get done, hit the home button and go ahead and open up the app, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys a quick little way to use it. I'm not going to actually record a video with it. Now, this version does have a few bugs. Some people can record, some people can't record. Go ahead, do whatever settings you guys really want to. It's all up to your guys' opinion. Right now, every record is probably one of the best ways you guys can screen record. There's not even a paid version that's better than that. That's just simply flat out the best one there is. I'm shocked that uh, the I Know Jailbreak team isn't charging money. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the next one, which this one is called Vida. Now, I have the older version, Vida U. The, the new version is Vida, V-I-D-I-H. Hopefully I'm saying that right. That is the best paid one, guys. This one records in HD. And the better your internet connection is, the better it's going to look. You can even stream to YouTube, Twitch, and even Facebook live with this. This is the first one that actually lets you live stream directly from your device, which is really cool. So once you guys install the VPN and go to this website, as you can see, you can start and stop the recording from anywhere you guys want with the control center, which is really, really unique, and they use Safari, which is really, really innovative, guys. 
So similar to Vid uh, Vid Video or whatever the old one was called, I can't think of it. I forgot, it's too old. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to download the next good screen recorder. This one is called Pixel Rec. This is made by my friend Joseph. He is really good at what he does and uh, I want you to remember that this app right here, he is 14 years old and he made this app which is absolutely amazing. I'm almost, I'll be 18 and seven days from now and I, I couldn't even do anything like that. So anyways, as you guys can see, I have dark mode enabled. I don't really like the purple on top. That kind of ruins it. But as you can see, uh, you would just go hit the record button and start recording. It was super, super simple. Not really much to it, guys. All nice and straightforward. Another reason why, why I like it. So now if I go ahead and open up Airshow. All of you guys know how to use Airshow. I don't really think I have to explain any of it. So, I mean, you'd select the resolution you'd want, you'd select the quality and all that. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install that one. What you're going to want to do is go back into Tutu, and this time you're going to search up Airshow. Once you guys search up Airshow, here it is right here. And then you'd want to download it. And my five-week-old kitten, his name is Brad, is sitting here attacking me the entire time I made this video, scratching at my legs and my hands. So here's the Dr. Wondershare screen recorder right here, guys. This is one of the paid ones. It's a little expensive, but I mean, I don't know why it's really that expensive. It's just really too expensive. It's overall, though, a pretty nice screen recorder. Go ahead, go to the website, click install, click install again. Then if you want to pay for it, it's like $20 a year or something like that, which is insane. But uh, yeah, the last one is Vizorec, guys. This one actually isn't signed right now. They're trying to get it signed again. I contacted the developers asking them for an IPA so I can forward it to Tutu to see if Tutu wants to host it. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But with this one right here, guys, if you see that, uh, that download button, if it, uh, when you click it right now, it's not going to work. But hopefully in the future, it will get signed again, and when you click download, it will work. So if you guys see that settings button and that little thumbnail of that YouTube video right there, if you see that, You'd click settings and then you'd click watch ad. When you watch an ad, it'll add 30 seconds to your recording time. So if you want, you could watch like 20 ads and then you, I'm, I don't know how much it is, but you could have like 20 minutes of recording time. Now, I highly doubt you guys are going to go past 20 minutes. I mean, you could go all the way up to 10 hours if you guys really wanted to by watching enough ads, which is really, really cool. It's a good way for them to make money. So there was six different ways you guys can screen record with your iOS device, guys. I, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That lets me know if you guys like this video and want to see more like it. I know I enjoyed making this video, but this is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time.